I'm going to show you how you can export an Airtable base as CSVs to Dropbox. I'll be using this tool by many extensions .com, and I will add a URL to this in the description. So we've got a base here, we've got a bunch of tables, and I want to export the first four as CSVs and save them in Dropbox. You can choose to export your every single table or whatever you want. You can just, you know, you, you tell us what tables you want to export and we do just that. So if you buy the tool, this is what you would see. Initially, there will be a login with Dropbox button here. This gives us access to one directory in Dropbox. So if you go through the flow, you will see that within Dropbox, they'll, you know, they'll tell you, oh, this app wants to get access to a mini extensions directory. And this directory is the only directory we will be able to use. And this is where we'll, we will save your exported CSVs. So next, you'll want to fill up your API key for your table, follow this URL for that, and then base ID, follow this URL for that, and then the table ID. So these are the tables that will be exported. For me, I grabbed the first four IDs. So grab the ID from the URL, and I grab the first four here. And then um, if you have hidden any fields from your UI, we won't know that you did. You will need to specify every single name of a field that you'll want to uh, hide. So make sure you name them all here and then go ahead and hit save and run. Let's go over here. This will take a second because, you know, it's exporting every single record and then generating the CSV and then also uploading um, the files to Dropbox. Uh, one note is that the CSVs that are exported by this tool are not exactly the same as the CSVs exported by Airtable. So be sure to check out our example to, to see what the differences may be. And we show all field types there. So anyways, uh, here we go. We saw this thing right here. So this is the name of our base. And then these are the CSVs for our four tables. And one thing I want to show is if I rerun this, the new file, we won't add new files, we will just replace that file. So, you know, if you share that file with somebody, they will keep seeing the file, um, the up-to-date file. So we always replace, we always make sure that it's not, you know, we're not renaming or anything like that. So anyways, last two things here are, you can schedule this to run regularly, and you can also uh, choose to run it with a webhook. A webhook is useful if you want it to run after a zap, or if you wanted to run after um, a, a redirect of an Airtable form, a webhook is essentially a URL. Every time you open this URL, this job will run again.